A few years ago, I wish I'd watched a video like this. How do you know what to do? What is it like being naked in front of someone for the first time? I'm sorry, I'm gonna say sex a lot in this video. Was it painful slash was there any bleeding? What happens if I'm bad at it? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. I should firstly just apologize and say that if I sound a bit different, I am currently slightly under the weather. I have a bit of a sore throat and I have a nose that is streaming. On top of that, I have hay fever, which is just beyond a joke at this point. So it's not ideal. This video kind of follows on basically from my recent Girl Talk Q&A. If you like this video or you like the topic, then I will link that down below. And if you want to stick around, then definitely consider subscribing because as you guys know, if you've been following my recent videos and even my Instagram, then you'll know I have been more recently opening up about these more taboo and intimate topics because I feel comfortable to do that now. I don't feel any shame at all. We shouldn't shy away from talking about this stuff as I say every single time because it's normal. And yes, I am going to be talking about first times in this video, first time experiences. And by that, I mean your first time having sex. I'm not going to beat around the bush about it, no pun intended. And I am going to refer to sex as sex in this video so I don't have to like keep bleeping it out every time I see it. But that's what we're talking about. I, a few years ago, even like last year, at the start of last year, I was so, so afraid of this. I was ashamed to talk about it. I was just like, oh my gosh, that's never gonna be me. And I just wouldn't have thought I'd be sitting here talking about it in a video. Like I never thought as well that I'd sit here and be like, you know, sex is something that is so amazing. It's pleasurable. It feels good. Like I never thought I would sit here and say this. And as someone who adores biology, I love this stuff. I think it's so cool. I am really interested in like female health, learning about my own body. I have like a huge newfound, we could say, interest in this field. Please don't shy away from talking about it, even with your like friends or your siblings. Like I am really close to my sister, but I didn't even talk about this with her. And it was only more recently that I'd start to talk about these things with my friends, like my close friends. So I just wish I'd seen more of these videos online and I really hope it just helps you guys, it puts you at ease and it opens up a conversation. Like this is a safe space, feel free to leave your comments down below. And obviously like this video if you do enjoy it because I really do love sharing them. Obviously I put myself in a bit more of a vulnerable situation but like I... I'm choosing to do this. I want to do this. It's my decision. Now I'm going to be answering a series of questions and I actually got these from the question sticker I put on my Instagram when I did the original Girl Talk Q&A because I got so, so many questions about this topic. So I wanted to make a whole video about it, as I said in that one. So the first question is basically, what are my views around virginity? And I have said this before like i don't like the term or the phrase losing your virginity just because when you have sex for the first time you don't lose anything you are just gaining a new experience and as soon as i heard that i was like oh my gosh that makes so much sense and it just changed my whole perspective and obviously i was still scared but it wasn't as if i was like oh my gosh i should never do this because i never want to lose my virginity like please just get that out of your head and i don't use the term virginity anymore at all or losing your virginity because i just don't like that phrase okay so i encourage you guys if you talk about this with your friends like avoid that terminology and just talk about sex sorry sex i'm sorry i'm gonna say sex a lot in this video the next question is how do you know what to do um you know when you're having sex for the first time now let me just say straight away i had no clue i don't think anyone really knows what they're doing during their first time you just kind of have to go with the flow i'm gonna say it's quite daunting to say that i don't like the unknown so not knowing what i was gonna do you know kind of freaked me out a bit but as i said it just kind of works naturally and for me i had my first sexual experience with someone who was experienced we could say they knew what they were doing so they could kind of like guide me through it you know but if you find yourself in a situation where both of you haven't had any experience then 
you'll work it out like trust me it's gonna be a bit of a laugh but like it shouldn't be anything serious and it should be something that is fun and enjoyable and pleasurable leading off from that then were you nervous she'll answer yes and how was it being intimate with someone after being scared of it so as i said like it was scary to me and i think for most people like your first time is gonna seem really scary but when i started to open up to these things and you know i felt a bit more comfortable last year as well when i was 24 i had my first ever kiss and again that was something that i was really worried about because i didn't know what i was gonna do i didn't know how to kiss someone but i just kind of went with it and i didn't force anything and i also didn't hold myself back i just was like you know these are new experiences holly and just try and enjoy them what really surprised me was that you know i could open up and i thought that i would always be someone who just shied away from intimacy and even things like physical touch as i said like i shocked myself because i was like this is actually really nice i was someone who used to hug people in the most awkward way because i just I don't know, I'd been so scared of physical touch, even with like friends and family members. Like my dad would go to hug me and I'd just stand there and be squeezed like a lemon. Getting over then my nerves, basically. Um, what helped me was just like communicating with the other person. I did order these questions by the way, so it makes sense. But you know, the next one is how do you communicate it is your first time? Because I do get these conversations can seem kind of awkward when you think about it when they really shouldn't be obviously there's never the right person but like if you are with someone who makes you feel comfortable then i would say that your conversations will naturally move in that direction and for me getting it off my chest felt really good because the other person knew about my history and i found that the other person will really appreciate it if you tell them that as well like they'll want to know because in a situation where you know one person is experienced and the other isn't so that was myself the person who has had sex before will probably feel slightly under pressure because they will want the other person to you know hopefully enjoy it and they don't want to kind of like ruin that first experience for the other person obviously it's not down to them but they will feel slightly under pressure and so if they know it's your first time it will just make the whole thing so much better for both of you and other things i would just say is to keep these conversations like really fun and lighthearted. like i would say if anything these conversations are great you know at night time a bit of pillow talk okay my god you guys my nose i sound like a trumpet wow the next question is what is it like being naked in front of someone for the first time um it's scary i'm not gonna lie it is quite scary because like for me anyway i was like the only person that has seen me naked is like myself obviously maybe my sister but like being naked in front of someone else was like one of the scariest things but like confidence is so sexy and confidence says a lot obviously not cockiness but when you are confident in your own skin i don't know it just speaks for itself and even if you are insecure about certain things like we all have our insecurities and the things that we don't like but trust me the other person will not notice those insecurities if you are worried i don't know about a bit of hair on your leg it will not matter and if you are with the right person as i said they won't have an issue with it if someone is like making inappropriate comments then you're in the wrong situation right you need to get yourself out of that but i'm gonna tell you right now like you are beautiful the way you are you don't have to change anything about yourself and if you kind of carry that energy with you into the bedroom into the bed then trust me it's gonna make it so so much more enjoyable for you because otherwise you're just gonna be constantly thinking and worrying about these things and if it makes it easier for you i don't know you could talk to your partner like your sexual partner about it and trust me they'll be like what are you talking about honestly trust me oh my god don't start itching your eye holly don't start itching your eye big question mic drop did it live up to expectations slash what was it like in the movies in films you know even i don't know some conversations you hear online on social media a lot of people hype up having sex for the first time they either make out oh my gosh it's amazing it's the best thing in the world and on the other hand you have people being like it's so painful it's the worst thing ever and for me i was just kind of in the middle ground personally it was all a blur i don't really remember what was going on i just remember kind of feeling 
meh about it. Like, it wasn't amazing, it wasn't painful, it was just... It was just a blur, like literally I don't remember much at all. It was a bit anticlimactic, I would say. You know, once I'd done it, I was like, okay, that wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. So I would say if you haven't had sex for the first time, don't make any assumptions about it. Just go in with a blank mind and an open mind because I think for everyone, the experience is very different. As I kind of hinted at, I said it wasn't like painful and the next question is was it painful slash was there any bleeding for me with regards to like pain the first time wasn't painful at all for me but then for the next few times after that it was kind of painful like it wasn't excruciating pain but it wasn't like the first time where i felt kind of nothing so either i masked the pain like psychologically the first time and then it was just painful after that or I was a bit more tense the next few times I don't really know why it wasn't painful for me the first time when it was painful for the next few times it was just slightly uncomfortable like I'm just gonna say it felt quite tight and that is kind of expected because I'd never had sex before the only thing I'd had up there was my menstrual cup and I think having used the menstrual cup for like a year before me having sex for the first time really helped because I knew that part of my body slightly better and I'd obviously had something go in and out that region of my body whereas if you have sex for the first time and you've never touched that region of your body you've never even explored yourself then it's gonna be tight and it's probably going to be painful slightly as i said it might be painful for some people it might not be so it really does depend because everyone anatomically is very different but for me like the one really kind of weird sensation that i had for like the first few times it doesn't happen anymore for me but like i used to always really need the toilet during sex okay even if i just been to the toilet and emptied my bladder entirely before I still needed the toilet. I was really confused about this because I was like, I am emptying my bladder and I am still needing the toilet, okay? Like, I'd have to take a break because I just couldn't, you know? I felt as if I was going to wet the bed. And one thing I should say, if you didn't know, for girls, after you have sex, you need to go to the toilet because otherwise you could get a urine infection, basically. But that's just a side note. Yeah, I did some research into why I kept needing the toilet and I think it was just because, you know, the penis was pushing against my bladder. Anatomically, that just might be my body or other people might feel the same, I don't know. But the feeling was just the worst thing because I was like, oh my gosh, I need the toilet like right now. And then the second question, was there any bleeding? So for me, I've never really had any bleeding. I've maybe had a slight bit of bleeding like very 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 slightly and a small bit of blood is normal but i mean if you do get a lot of blood which i've never experienced then i would perhaps go and speak to a professional a doctor and just get it checked out so you can be sure obviously you are gonna have blood if you are on your period um but if you're not on your period and you have blood as i said it might be fine it might be normal but if you don't think it's normal and you have a gut feeling then just go and get it checked out next question should you wait for the right one or just do it now this was oh my gosh this was my dilemma you guys i constantly had battles in my head i was like okay should i wait to have sex for the first time with someone who i see myself being with for like a really long time or like the rest of my life you know or do i just do it with someone who i feel comfortable with i'm not necessarily in a relationship with them but the context is right and everything feels right and so i did end up doing it with someone who i wasn't in a relationship with i was like i didn't want to hold myself back just because i wanted to wait so it is a personal decision for you but i would just say like go with the flow but at the same time just make sure you feel comfortable the next question then is how do you deal with the pressure of being an old virgin old virgin slash feeling behind slash feeling embarrassed as you guys know i am never one to like want to fit in or like follow a crowd and at the end of the day this idea of like losing your virginity or like having sex for the first time is a societal pressure it's a pressure that's brought about by society for like literally no reason whatsoever like why do we have to rush into having sex for the first time you know like why should you have done it in your teenage years or at university or in your early 20s you know if you're like 
older and you still haven't done it like why is that an issue i just don't get it and as i said it's just created by society and what you just need to do as hard as it can be sometimes and it's easier said than done i know but like you have to own your decisions you really have to be confident in the decisions you're making and the fact that you're choosing to you know wait for someone that you feel comfortable with or just wait for the right time and you're not going to do it just because your friends have done it and you feel left behind at the end of the day i think it says so much more about a person if you're able to stand your ground and make your own decisions and own those decisions as opposed to just like being a sheep and following the i was gonna say sheepdog but then the sheepdog chases the sheep following the herd i don't know like just don't be a sheep in this massive field of sheep like do what you want to please don't rush into it because that's when you're going to end up being in a situation that you don't really enjoy finding yourself in and it won't be the best experience for you when it should be or you need to give it the opportunity to be like a really cool and fun experience okay it doesn't matter what age you are at the end of the day like it really does not matter you are not behind there's no rush to do these things you have your whole life ahead of you another question is what happens if i'm bad at it now this is again something i wouldn't worry about because like at the end of the day your first time is not going to be the best time as they say practice makes perfect these feelings of pleasure and sexual experiences it's different for everyone what i like is not going to be the same as what you like and what your partner likes and you have to talk about these things and get to know your body and don't be worried about like laughing about things like if something doesn't go right or it just doesn't work or happen like laugh it off honestly it's so funny and it feels really nice to just laugh about these things i for example learned about queefing if you didn't know what queefing was it's basically a vagina fart queefing i heard about for the first time on a podcast and i was like what even is that but it does happen and just laugh about it honestly it's nothing that's gonna make or break a relationship at the end of the day like it's just about experimenting exploring your bodies don't put pressure on yourself to be like amazing the first time like it's gonna only get better trust me like my friends told me that the next one is a very interesting one do you ever feel guilty slash repulsed by the idea of having sex now the reason why i think this question is quite interesting for me anyway is because it wasn't during the first time i had sex but like a couple of times i'm gonna say after that i had this feeling of i don't know guilt or i felt as if i shouldn't be doing this and for me, I don't really know where this came from or where this stemmed from. It's not as if, you know, I'm religious and I don't hold any values or I haven't been told that, you know, I shouldn't have sex. So it must have just come from my head or things I'd heard. I don't really know. But like, it was only a very transient thought and I was able to push past it and be like, that's like completely irrational, illogical. Sex shouldn't be something that is disgusting or like you should feel guilty about because as I said, it's a normal thing. It feels good and like it's something that I hope we would all experience because you know, it's a pleasurable experience, okay? The last two questions. So the first one is what contraception do you use? I am currently in the process of making a whole video about this, so that will come out very soon and you guys will be able to watch it. But in short, I have been using condoms and I very recently got a Gynafix or a copper coil fitted, which is non-hormonal. And I'm going to be talking about it in a whole separate video, as I said. So I'm hoping that will be useful and I'm really enjoying kind of like creating it at the moment. So look out for that. As I said, if you are not yet subscribed and you don't have the bell on, now is your chance to hit subscribe if you do enjoy these videos of my content. We would also love to have you here because it is a very safe space. And on that note, the final question is how to feel sexy. And I think for all of us, when we think of this idea of sexy and sexiness, being sexy, we think of someone dressed in like lingerie, a nice lace bra and knickers, which I personally don't own. I believe, I truly, truly believe that sexiness looks and feels different for everyone. And what is sexy for you your partner will honestly love because if they like you they're attracted to you they love you then they will love you as your sexy self whatever that looks like for you as i said so i do encourage you to find your inner sexiness you know it definitely doesn't have to be in a bra and knickers okay that is basically all of the questions and i hope it has you know i don't know made you feel more comfortable and if you do have any further questions obviously you are more than welcome to leave those down below my dms on instagram are also always open so you 
you can send me a message on there if you want it to be more private and personal. But yeah, I just really hope to break down taboos and stereotypes and try and like reduce the shame around these topics, especially for females. Um, but yeah, let me know if you do enjoy these videos and you want more of them. If you like the girl talk Q&As or if you want me to talk about something in particular, then feel free to leave that as well down below. But yeah, definitely like this video if you did enjoy it and I will speak to you guys very soon in another video. Bye! What the frick, Connie? Shuffle to the right. Is that the right? Welcome back to my channel. That lighting is annoying. Like, it looks like there's some super strange thing going on. Reorganized room. Ah, you can see that. No, 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 no. You see the sniffy nose? Like, there's so much gunk in my nose. It's so bad. My face is so, like, dry and blotchy. It's really kind of weird and confusing. Like, what is going on right now? I also feel like I need to sneeze. I hate being ill. I really hate being ill. But, um, hello. Where are we? Let me get up to the questions. That would be a great start for me. It's so sunny, by the way, as well. Can we just appreciate how good the weather is right now in the UK? I have an itchy eyebrow. Don't have any pre-judgment, pre -requisites. Is that the right word? I don't know. Just, you know, a blank mind, okay? Okay.